to my channel. Today I have for y'all today is an eyebrow tutorial and as you can see I have nothing on my brows. I did my face already. I have the Dose of Color Stone on today which I'm in love with but there's nothing on my eyebrows and so if you want to see my eyebrow tutorial and what products I use keep on watching. Okay you guys the products that I use for my eyebrows are at the moment the ones that I've been using sometimes I change it up because depending on what products I end up finding and if I end up wanting to change it up a little bit because it's good to try new products um, everybody does their eyebrows differently not everybody does them exactly the same everybody has their type and so on and so on so the first thing that I use is a brow pencil and it's the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I got it in chocolate. I love, love, love this eyebrow pencil. As you can see, it has a good spoolie. It has a good spoolie on this side. Very, very good. Mine's a little dirty. <laughs> also, the pencil swirls up. Very, very good. I love it because it's really creamy and really smooth. So it gives you a nice, you know, way to carve out your eyebrows very nicely the next thing I used I use to fill them in sometimes I use the pencil to fill them in depending if I'm in a rush or I don't want to use a different product I recently got this in my believe in my ipsy bag last month I believe it's the pixie by Petra eyebrow mini brow trio and I got this as a sample so that's what that looks like and I love it because it for me, it's making it much easier to fill in my brows. So that's what it looks like. What I use with that, this, is I use the It Cosmetics eyebrow pencil. I can't find my Anastasia brow, brow um, brush. I know I have one, but I can't find it. <laughs> but mine is falling apart because I guess it's getting loose. But this is the one I use. I only use this side just to fill it in. And some days when I want a little extra um, color to my brows, I use the Brow Stylist Pumper from L'Oreal in the shade medium to dark. That's that one. And then sometimes when I don't want uh, any extra color to it, I just use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which is wonderful because it makes my eyebrows stay all day do not budge very good well this one almost the same so those are the products so let's get down to doing my eyebrows so the first thing let me zoom you in to my face okay so as you can see we're no brows no nothing these are my natural brows and I guess the first thing that I'm, I usually do with my brows and is what I do is I open up my pencil. What I do is brush my eyebrows the direction that they're going. As you can see, now mine don't go up like some of you, some of y'all's brows go up. Mine tend to go in a curved way to the right side. Next thing that I do is is I like to outline my eyebrows on the bottom from the bottom from here all the way to the end because I have some sparse brows that that just don't want to grow in anymore so let me do that and y'all can watch See, as you can see, I got the line from here starting and going to the point. And then I just, I also as well, like to do, to line up my, my tail. And I don't like to go all the way down. I just like to go, come on, like, to my nose. You line it up to right there. Basically right there. So let me do that. Okay. Okay, so now I got, I got my tail. So you can see it lined up pretty nicely. So next thing that I like to do is brush my eyebrows, my eyebrow hairs down so I can get a precise more look on where exactly I want, I guess, my arch and then 
uh, to line it up nicely. Um, I know some of you might think, oh, she's doing her eyebrows too harsh. But like I said in the beginning, everybody does their eyebrows different ways, the way they feel more comfortable. This is just the way that I like to do my eyebrows because of my eyebrows do not like to grow in. So it just it just helps me with my eyebrows. So I'm going to outline the top and create a, an arch and then connect it to my tail. So let me do that real quick. Okay, as you can see that I created my own little form of an eyebrow. And my arch is, of course, right there where it should be. I really don't like my arch to be kind of pointy. I like it to be just kind of rounded around because I don't want to really look like, like some angry eyebrows, you know, like I'm always mad all the time. So this is how I put it. I don't can draw the line all the way close to it because I kind of want the front to look a little bit more natural and towards the end I like it a little bit more more darkened so since I got this part in what I do next is I go in with my brow powder the one that I showed you at the beginning let me show you again and then the brush and I'm gonna dip it into the darkest shade because my hair is a little bit dark and I'm going to fill in my brows I'm going to fill in my brows towards the end because like how I said I like my eyebrows a little bit darker at the end. I'm going to like I was saying is dipping it into the darkest shade and then just stroke like fill in my brow. And I like the brow powder because it creates I guess a more natural kind of brow and I do this until I get to the tail as you can see and if I need more product keep dipping and what I do is I take the dark shade to I would say midpoint of my eye because I don't want too much darkness towards the um, main like really close to my eye so what I do is keep on if I need any more product and when I feel like that should be enough I get the other side which is the spoolie and then just brush out brush it out like make it more even okay and then I go into the lighter shade that's in that brow powder palette. And what I do with the lighter shade is I use it towards the, the beginning of my brow to get that more, I would say, natural, natural kind of brow. And I just fill it in the front just the same way that I did on the other side. Combining the two colors together, like how I'm doing. Now, how I said towards the front of my brow, my brows don't like to go up. They like to go to a curve to the right. I got some weird brows, okay? So what I do is I just get this light brown shade. And what I do is I kind of just, in the front, just connect that line, as you can see, that line that I have here that I created and just kind of blend it out and it creates just like a seamless effect brow. And I just brush it out, brush, brush, because since mine doesn't, mine don't go upwards, I like to brush to the right, um, the direction that my brows naturally go. Brush it to the right. I really don't worry about if I get any product here into my whatever, because I can just clean that up um, at the end. So what I do is just keep brushing, just combining the color. And towards the bottom, you see that I did um, uh, underline it. So what I do, the same thing I did on the top, combine the colors, um, blend out the, the shade, do the same towards the bottom. And then brush it out just like if you were painting on your eyebrows but um, with the brush 
and you see how it creates a more gradient like um, effect towards your brow so once I get that the way that I feel like how I want it I go back to the spoolie side and just brush it out make everything nice and seamless so basically this is my brow and you know how I ended up brushing on this side of my brow just out of playing what I usually do sometimes is I line up my pencil and see where my eyebrow begins and I usually like to use one of these things that you use to the cotton swabs clean your ears or to clean your makeup I also use it for my makeup as well all I do is just go in pick up my brow and just wipe the excess off lightly because you don't want to wipe off your foundation right so basically lightly carve it out I know some of y'all are probably thinking how come she doesn't use concealer I really don't like to use concealer because I did enough with the pencil the harshness of the pencil that I think I did an, a good enough job that I don't I sometimes don't like to use concealer depends you know if I'm gonna go out I'm gonna go to a party or something like that you know I do want to sharpen it up you want like a precise line but for every day I don't see why okay so once we get that done I kind of like to go in with a light powder just to clean up that excess instead of using a concealer just like that and if you see anything else like I usually sometimes just go back in with this bully brush it out and if anything else you see you feel you need to fill in so basically this is how I do my eyebrow but since I did add some color I kind of want to add some color to it so I'm going to add the L'Oreal uh, brow plumper on top of that just to seal it in so it won't budge and it won't move so what I just go upwards see how my brows don't want to go up I just go upwards and then I guess I just drag it to the directions it goes sweep it through what this does is just helps your eyebrows if you have any sparse hairs makes them I guess stay in place where they won't want to lift or jump up and create their own little party over here in your eyebrows it makes them stay in place I just like to pat that in make sure it is set in and voila very simple very easy so this is how I like to do my eyebrows very simple very easy um, sometimes it takes me forever sometimes it doesn't it depends on the mood of my eyebrows sometimes they want to work with me sometimes they're just like leave me the hell alone you know so see the comparison between this one and then the one that's filled this one kind of opens up the eye makes the eye more beautiful so this is the way I do my eye so let me do the other eyebrow and I'll come back and we'll chit chat for a little bit be right back hi you guys I'm back so I finished the other eyebrow and this is how it looks and with makeup and everything I ended up adding um, a highlight for my eyebrow I ended up using the Lorac Pro the first one just one of the little sparkly highlights that I like to use and then I used I just added some glue to my face I used um, Anastasia so Hollywood highlight which I'm in love with right now so this is how I do my eyebrows like I said everybody has a different way to do their eyebrows so don't don't discriminate everybody has their own way it's always nice to look at other people's and learn different techniques and different ways so you can just like incorporate it with you with the way that you you already do your eyebrows or if you want to start doing your eyebrows so i'm gonna link everything down below all the products that i use so if you are interested in getting them where you can get them and stuff like that 
and I guess that's it so thank you for watching you guys and I'll see you next time bye and don't forget don't forget to subscribe and comment down below love you bye you guys